I think I should I should have been like 12 or 13 and I have gender dysphoria being born as a boy during my puberty I went through so much of inner turmoil like all transgender or gender non-conforming or gender queer children do like all of them I also had inner confusions and being born in one gender and having the characteristics and body language of the other and living in a patriarchal society that actually celebrates masculinity and does not celebrate femininity I was in a fix I was living a life as a child as I was living a life that was in turmoil at 12 I came out to my parents but still they were they were also so supportive but then they couldn't know how to actually support me further at 13 I wanted to commit suicide because there was nobody nor neither my school teachers nor my fellow students we didn't have child psychiatrists or counselors to help intervene they don't have gender dysphoric clinics and in our medical academic education transgenderism is not elaborate and doctors didn't know what what was it all about or oh, there was very little knowledge about it so at that point of time what i really had was me myself only so all the inner struggles that i went through i had to find a solution to bring them out i had to let myself go i wanted to live and i, I didn't want to die i had the pen and the paper and the brush and the paint i started writing poetry and i started writing little beautiful poems about my struggle my little joys my passions what i wanted to be as an adult, what I wish to be and all that, as little poems. And I also began to draw and paint when I was a teenager. And that became a habit of, for a few years. That was my outlet in consoling myself when art. Picasso said, every child is an artist. The problem is, when we grow up, the artist doesn't remain. Several years later, several struggles, several years of discrimination at school, but still struggling and establishing myself as an artist, as a founder of an organization that runs for the empowerment of transgender people in India and pursuing all my dreams with grit, compassion, still holding my child, inner child, not to die. After many years, almost 20 years later, through my foundation, I started that childhood dream, that childhood thing that I always wanted to do, to draw, to paint. So we have this Trans Hearts project in our Sahodri Foundation. We have this beautiful project. It actually addresses yeah, it addresses the inner trauma in transgender people go through and it heals. This project is an answer for many things. As children who have gender dysphoria, all the transgender or gender non-conforming kids go through same experiences of confusions, of going through discrimination in the family, in school, in society in the institutions that they study and as adults when they go for 
university education and into colleges and you know after that when they come out to work it's life is very difficult today you would have of course you know more many transgender people today in india are begging and doing sex work look at how many of them would have the potential how many of them would actually have the talent to be an artist and how many of them have that opportunity to find their talent find themselves not many so after many years of struggle almost 20 years later last year i took up painting as a career again and i was amazed that i have not lost that quality in me i never knew that i could paint so well it is just last year i found out that i could be a good painter and i started making paintings and in 2 3 months i did my first art show in trivandrum and in another 2 months i did it in kanbata and in bangalore and then it continued and last month i went to the us i went to san francisco and los angeles and all my paintings were sold that was last year and so i wanted to give this a uh, beautiful opportunity of finding your artist finding your inner child i wanted to give that experience to the transgender community so in february because i run a foundation i connect with hundreds and hundreds of transgender people across india in february this year i met a group of transgender people and i was talking to them telling them about what art can do to them and i held my first art workshop in february this year it became a beautiful journey of colors we had our first art exhibition and in march some of people we had our art exhibition no art workshop in march and in april and in may over 100 transgender people so far have started painting on canvas and the irony is almost all of them none of them have gone to an art school none of them have actually seen acrylic paint none of them have actually never experienced drawing on a canvas before so these women her name is kala and her name is divya these women that you see they have never done artworks in their life to be an artist the best thing is actually to bring out the best paintings the best thing is actually not to be an artist that raw that unpolluted quality of a person comes with art if and then done for the first time like a child these women are all transgender people and they tell their untold stories on canvas they are stories of pain joy of hope of disappointment of rejection of revenge of tears and joy everything they tell through the canvas so in uh, july we did our first art exhibition in kanbatore with more than 100 paintings and uh, 70 transgender artists we started to do our first art show in july and we continue to this was happening in kanbatore and we continue to showcase their talents in across india and many different states transgender people doing art it had a very good market and people really wanted transgender people's art so we started to have a website and that's called transhubs.org and this girl her name is kanchana when she was 17 she was disowned by her family and she lived in many orphanages a few years back she came to me and she lived with me too but now she lives in chennai 
She has her own house and she lives in Chennai. An abundantly talented kid, this girl is. She wanted to pursue art vigorously. She has done more than 12 artworks so far and all of them, her paintings are sold. The great thing is, the art that we make really support the community. People who are beggars, sex workers, are turning into artists and they are making a livelihood out of it. What became a challenge for us has become an opportunity. This is Kanchana and she is explaining to the audience, the onlookers about her artwork. So we continue to do give this art workshops at different places, different venues across India. And transgender women come participate and we promote their artworks through our foundation called Sahodri Foundation. We promote their artworks and this, the money that is earned through the sale of their artworks, it is 100% goes to the artist. So I will have uh, a few artworks here to show to you all. So can I, can I come here friends? So I have just chosen five of the paintings, abstract and modern art. These are all done by our transgender people. And these artworks can be bought in Shai's house website. I hope you love them. It's all uh, first time artworks. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you.